Good morning to all of you. Good morning, sir. Welcome, welcome to the third session of BS one four three. We had uh, thirty four students online today. Uh, we expect little more. Uh, maybe once the session is uh, you know, started. Welcome uh, to uh, Dr. Mahanti also, our academic counselor, who is very much online. So, dear Good students, uh, as as all of you know that uh, uh, you know we are organizing these online counseling sessions because we are all uh, passing through a very difficult time due to coronavirus. Educational institutions have been closed, and uh, we have. Please, please bear with us. If you understand the difficulty of the situation, so please uh, depend uh, more on yourself rather than depending upon the system or the academic counselors because everybody is scattered at the moment. But uh, we are hopeful that after some time, our study centers will reopen and uh, we will entertain all your queries at the study centers also. We are planning to have your you know, workshop, workshop one and workshop two also. So that time we'll be talking to all of you face to face. So in such time, wait and kindly bear with us. So today uh, we shall be talking about B40 block three. Block three has uh, four units, and all these four units. Uh, deal with uh, different mathematical concepts like your number system, number theory, exponents and logarithms, polynomials, basic concepts of factoring, linear equations, inequations, quadratic equations, set, set theory, relation, functions, and graph. So all these things, all mathematical uh, important mathematical concepts are presented there in block three. Because you know, since you have opted for teaching mathematics, you are supposed to have at least some background knowledge, some basic knowledge, not background knowledge, some basic knowledge about all these mathematical concepts, so that your teaching will be effective, and uh, the students will also show interest in your teaching. This is precisely the reason why the experts have incorporated all these mathematical concepts in this law. Okay, so please listen to the resource person carefully, and towards the end, please. Ask your questions. In such time, keep your audio video on mute mode, isn't it? Please put your video as well as audio on mute position so that you can listen to him very clearly and see him also very clearly. Jyoti Ranjan, please mute your video. Jyoti Ranjan, Kumar Jyoti Ranjan, please mute your video. 
switch up your video so thank you dr mahadev please take over and start your presentation straight away okay sir good morning block four block three block three it is content based methodology one there is general information that this block three contains four units in a 10 11 12 and 13 and we will proceed one after another after the one discussion next uh, unit will be discussed so, so that if any doubt you will ask me after completion of the course or a completion of this session so that now we will come across with unit 10 this unit 10 contains number system number theory exponents and logarithm before to understand this we should know that all of the topics all of the matters which will be taught to you is a general idea that you have learned from your earlier stages in your everyday life also but in the present that life we require such type of numbers prices words etc for our daily activities. The present course of mathematics in school introduces the students to various properties for natural numbers, integers, rational numbers, real numbers, and real numbers and others. In this way, first we should know what is number system. In number system, we are already well known that the set of numbers, natural numbers, etc. In this case, we need to what is first, what is natural numbers? The counting numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. are called natural numbers. In natural numbers, it is denoted by letter n so that n equal to 1 2 3 4 5 etc they are the counting numbers next you count another things what is whole number whole number is denoted by letter w w and w equal to 0 1 2 3 4 etc these numbers are known as the whole number and in this number zero is the smallest whole number zero is the smallest whole number therefore to understand such type of things we should first come across with different objectives are there what are the needs and importance of these things for the learner because from your other stages, if 8, 9, 10, you have already well known these numbers, you are always familiar with such type of numbers. And another thing, that is integer. Generally, integer is denoted by letter Z. Z equal to, we can consider 0 plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, etc. That means 0 is the middle number, towards left, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, towards right, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4. So you can write it as a 0 plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, plus minus 4. In this way, one thing comes to our mind, what, the, what are the sets of numbers? 
in this sets of numbers we can study number system number theory exponents and logarithms therefore in this number system a teacher always provide opportunity to learner to read about also rational and irrational number so then before discussing we should know first what is rational number rational number can be expressed in the form of p by q where p and q are both integers and q is not equal to 0 and this rational number is denoted by a letter q capital q for that reason a rational number is in the form of p by q where we can take example 1 by 2 3 by 4 5 by 6 etc these are the rational numbers in this case one thing comes to our mind what is irrational numbers that means the number which are not rational number that means root 2 root 3 root 5 these are irrational numbers they can be expressed also in the form of p by q and q is not equal to also zero in that similar cases one thing comes to our mind what is zero and what is integers what is zero and what is integers so that this integers we are already identify a number a symbol i integers are identified by a number i but zero is the first number of a whole number then you come to the relationship between rational and irrational number there is one thing of real numbers real numbers are denoted by letter r and it is a formula that real numbers equal to irrational number union irrational number irrational number union irrational number most of the numbers used in the multiplication of school stage are real numbers but in our number system natural numbers can be counted as one two three four and that can be in the form of addition subtraction and multiplication also likewise the whole numbers w contains 0 1 2 3 4 and it is in the form of addition subtraction and multiplication integers i in the form of 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 etc in the form of addition subtraction and multiplication rational numbers q it is in the system of addition subtraction multiplication and division real numbers are are in the form of addition subtraction multiplication and division so that in this in this way we can know what should be the properties of a real number the properties of a real number are in the form of point one closure law commutative law associative law identity law inverse law and distributive law they can be identified they can be classified and the characteristics of such numbers can be explained by giving some of the examples 
and the order of serial numbers are from different techniques and their techniques will be in the form of different numbers so that the properties of a real number can be identified through different system of laws different system of laws methodologies methodologies can be used to identify such type of items and then you come to the number line in number line we can take the example of an integer that is equal to z z equal to the middle point is zero towards left minus one minus two minus three minus four plus right one two three four five and it is generated by z equal to zero plus minus one plus minus two plus minus three etc in the number line system we know that the real distance or the distance between two numbers can be calculated through the direct line segment and students performance and creativity can be measured through this segment by given direction to them and these directions are on the basis of teachers performance the teachers should provide proper direction to learner how to calculate the distance between two segments so that uh, they can be able to calculate it this is a general things for a teacher to provide such type of atmosphere to create such type of atmosphere in a classroom situation next you come to exponents and logarithms we know that in mathematics exponents and logarithms are two important technique important things for a teacher to provide his lesson in classroom teaching learning process first now we will proceed to exponents in a general case case we know that number equal to base to the power exponents number is equal to any number that equal to base to the power of exponents let for example 16 16 equal to 2 to the power 4 here 2 is the base and 4 is the exponent so 6 is fourth power of 2 6 is fourth power of 2 in the general sense in the general case it has been calculated and in this way the re real number has the following laws that is x to the power m into x to the power n that equal to x to the m plus n x to the m by x to the power n equal to x to the m minus n x by y to the power n equal to x to the power n by y to the power n x to the power 0 equal to 1 x to the power minus n equal to 1 by x to the power n we can also know that when m by n is rational in every case in every moment we can take this example by taking m by n is rational so that in this way in this way an irrational number can also be calculated how that may be in the form of that may be in the form of geometrical proof and mathematical proof that root 2 is an irrational number root 3 is an irrational number and it can be calculated through the process of 
mathematical ways and geometrical ways. Therefore, then it can be informed that these numbers are very rare and these numbers are will be easy through mathematical ways and uh, geometrical ways. Now you come indices and logarithms. In our teaching learning process, in our teaching learning process, we are already well known that sets of powers are various in number and it gives a meaning about logarithm, closure attention should be given to exponents and gives right to a particular thing. Another example we can take log 3, 2 power 3 equal to 5. That means 3 to the power, 3 to the power of 5 equal to 2 power 3. Another example, log 2, 64 equal to 6. That means 2 to the power 6 equal to 6, 64. So that in this way, all of the exponents, all of the things that can be used, that can be maintained properly by a good teacher, and he should analyze it in a proper way, in which the student can able to listen, student can able to understand. And consideration, direction are also to be provided to them. If it will not fruitful, then another channel can be prepared by a teacher in order to develop the mentality of learner. Therefore, in our daily teaching learning process, logarithmic tables may be used for development of teaching learning process. These logarithm tables are given through a chart and it can be calculated by means of the direction of a teacher. And this statement will be true when it will fruitful. Therefore, a teacher should give direction to use such type of tables in a classroom situation. Next, you come the elementary number theory. Elementary number three theory. In elementary number theory, you are already well known that what is factor, what is odd and even number, and so what should be its properties. Therefore, one example can be provided that uh, write the answer of 3 into 4 equal to 12. 3 into 4, that means it will be equal to 12. Here 3 multiplied by 4 is 12. 3 is a divisor of 12. We can write in this way. In this way, students' actual performance should be increased by providing different types of questions through a teacher and teacher should clarify it in an effective way. Further it is, students can able to get better results and they can express it in a proper way. Next, you come the prime factorization. Prime factorization. Prime factorization means HCF and LCM, HCF and LCM, highest common factor and lowest common factor. In prime factorization, we are already well known that this prime factor indicates that indices and logarithms that 
it gives rise to a proper channel it gives rise to a proper method for calculation of hcf and lcm this hcf and lcm therefore contains division methods and the division methods are can be applied for finding hcf and lcm you are already well known that students are unknown how it will be calculated through different techniques means through division method so the, this type of experience this type of knowledge should be provided to them how to calculate this hcm and lcm through division method and students progress should be measured by applying different types of questions on the basis of calculation hcm and lcm through division formula or division method next to come application of hcf and lcm in our general class classroom situation some problems may be arise in teaching learning teaching learning process there are due to the use of devices and these devices are used as a practice material in which a student can apply it can generalize it and evaluate it therefore the teacher first so first understand such type of problem he should analyze it and provide proper information in the in different problems where there would be a practical solution in their life and students activity will be developed by means of this process in this way in primary prime factorization division method and other developmental techniques to calculate should be applied through student in by means of assignment by means of different problematic situation it can increase the mentality of learner mental ability of learner therefore a teacher should take decision the whether it will applicable for the learner or not he should first create himself and after it such type of questions are to be delivered in order to arrive at the conclusion in this way this is all about the unit 10 and in this unit students will be able to understand about the number system logarithms and how it will calculate a rational number rational number real numbers etc next now we will proceed to unit 11 polynomials its basic concepts and factoring so the before to understand such type of polynomials we should know that students have already understand the basic idea regarding divided divisor quotient remainder in arithmetic but in earlier stage but in today life they also know factorization of number in the prime factors in arithmetic there is a formula there is a method to learn to the learner in different ways in which it will be effectively learned and students can able to receive such type of techniques from a teacher in different situations 
then what should be its need the basic need is students will be clarify on various concept of variables constant algebraic equation and the numerical values except it they, <coughs> they will able to know the meaning of polynomials monomials and binomials they will develop their skill in fundamental operation of polynomials they will able to perform fundamental operation of polynomials etc in this way different objectives are behind it and they will able to able to receive knowledge on the basis of a, a teacher's performance so that a teacher should clarify it should clarify the doubt of learner effectively in classroom situation and students can able to receive it properly one thing in this way one thing comes to our mind before to go through this polynomial we should know what is variables in algebra we use different alphabets to represent values size and quantity for example the perimeter of a rectangle can be obtained by adding the length of its four sides and it can be written algebraically as p p equal to 2a plus 2b in a general idea p a equal to 2a plus 2b that is equal to 2 into a plus b where p represents perimeter and a and b represents its length and breadth a is the length b is the breadth respectively in this way a and b will take different values for different rectangles similarly p will be determined by the value of a and b we can take another numbers in space of a and b where the variable rules will be calculated variables will be formed to us next you come to terms a combination of variables and numbers joined by operation of multiplication and division is known as term for example we can take 5xy minus 9x square by z 2xy k 1 by 4k 2x to the power 4 are all terms terms are like words in english language these are the words in language and it can be found in mathematics as a term so that is algebraic expression are in different types its algebraic ex expression are in different types and it can be informed to the student through different techniques the value of an algebraic expression in our daily life when we use mathematics we can use different techniques and methods for example one express algebraic expression 2x plus y when x equal to 3 y equal to 4 the value of the expression will be calculated in 2 into 4 plus 3 means 8 plus 3 that will be equal to 11 so that this expression this idea should provide it to learner how it will be calculated through, through algebraic expressions in this way the primary idea primary things are to be provided to learner for different techniques for different ways 
Next, you come polynomials, its concepts and definitions. In a general class, we should provide idea of what is polynomial, what is monomial, what is binomial and trinomial. Mono means one, bi means two, tri means three. The polynomials can be identified through this type of algebraic expressions. In this way, we can give different types of explore different types of examples to learn. For example, 3x square, 5x minus y, x square minus 2x plus 3, and etc. In this elementary expression, students should be well defined the expression, the elementary expression of polynomials. That means the power of the variable. And they should proper they should be provided proper guidance. They should be provided proper knowledge. Further, the algebraic expressions are monomials or binomials or trinomials. If in case of monomials, in case of binomials, and in case of trinomials, we should give proper idea to them. Then what is monomials? If a polynomial in one variable, if a polynomial has one variable, that is known as monomials. If there are two variables, that is known as binomials. And if it has three variables, then we can say that it is trinomials. General examples are to be provided to them. And accepted students should be identified that a polynomial is denoted by letter P systematically. It is denoted by letter like by integer, real number, personal number, it is also denoted by letter P. So that a polynomial of degree one is called a linear polynomial. A polynomial of degree one, whose degree is one, that is known as linear polynomial. For example, 3x plus 5, it is linear polynomial because here the degree is only one. In second case, quadratic polynomial, a polynomial of degree two is called quadratic polynomial. Degree two is called quadratic polynomial. For example, 2x square minus 4x plus 5. This is the quadratic, this is the quadratic polynomial in variable x and y. Third, to come cubic polynomial. A polynomial of degree 3 is called a cubic polynomial. For example, s cube minus 2x square plus 3x plus 2. Here, the degree of the polynomial is 3. Therefore, it is a cubic polynomial in variables x, y, and a number respectively. Another thing becomes constant polynomial. What is constant polynomial? A polynomial consisting of only constant term, it consisting of a constant term is known as constant polynomial. For example, we can type px equal to 5. px equal to 5. It is a constant polynomial because it is a polynomial of degree 0. As 5 can also be written as 5x to the power 0. Because we know that x to the 0 equal to 1. For 5, x to the 0 means 5. In this way, this polynomial can be identified to learner in different ways and in different techniques. 
नेक्स्ट यू कॉम द पोलिनम इन टू वेरिएबल्स फिर स्टूडेंट्स वुड बी टॉट थ्रू द डिग्री ऑफ ए टॉर्म इन केस ऑफ मोर देन वन वेरिएबल linear quadratic polynomials in the variables also linear and quadratic polynomials in the variables also have the degree of term more than one variable is the sum of the exponents of all the variables x and y for example we can discuss its needs and importance to learn now but in some cases this degree of polynomials may be very because in polynomials the term can take example x square plus y square here the degree of the term is 2 it is not a linear polynomial whereas in the polynomial x plus 3y plus 2 there is the term are 1 1 and 0 1 1 and 0 so that this log this is a linear polynomial to provide such type of expression to learner the quadratic pol polynomial in two variables is we can write pxy equal to ax square Plus b x y plus c y square plus d x plus c y plus a. It can be it can be expressed that a b c d e and f are constants. A b c d are always constant and gives rise to a particular method. And this method can be implies in the field of inductive reasoning inductive reasoning to learn students may face different problems but the problems may be verified these problems may be solved by using such type of methods in classroom situation next you can operations of on polynomials operations on polynomials before to provide knowledge to the learner on the operational polynomials the teacher should clarify the doubt of learner in different operations and then operations are related to integers and on polynomials like numbers polynomials it can be added subtracted multiplied or divided Therefore, in all cases, in all situations, the teacher should be acquainted with it, and on occasions with that type of knowledge are to be provided for better better understanding of learning. In this way, the value of a polynomial and zeros of a polynomial, we should know, or should be the value of a polynomial and zero of a polynomial. before to understand this students should be provided the value of a polynomial for a given value of a variable meaning of zero of a polynomial but a teacher should give direction to them that a polynomial in polynomial the given values are obtained by subtracting the values of the variable in different polynomials and you should simplify simplify it for better understanding of now we can take an f1 example p x equal to 3 x cube minus 5 x square minus 4 x plus 4 it is a polynomial in x then find the value of p x for a x equal to 0 now we have to calculate the value of px where x equal to 0 the students will be instructed and 
proper direction will be provided to them and they will calculate the value of ps at first the result will be four now that means 3 into 0 to the power 3 minus 5 into 0 to the power 2 minus 4 into 0 all will be 0 plus 4 that will become to power so that students will get knowledge if proper direction and its implementation will be will be provided to learner in a proper way in a proper fashion then the students capacities will be developed and they will able to know what will be the real situation of calculation such method in this way another things comes to our mind how polynomials will be added that means addition of polynomials the addition of polynomials indicates similar terms and how to add two polynomials that means two polynomials will be supplied to learner and they have to add it by applying for example px is a polynomial and qx is another polynomial the value of px equal to x plus 2x plus 3 q is equal to 3x square plus 8x plus 4. So that in this case, px plus q is equal to in a similar situation, they will add, they will separate it through same variables, they will combine it and at last they will get the result. In this, in this way, the addition of the polynomials will be in the form of a mathematics that may be in the form of weights, in the form of column or in the form of lines. Two processes they can be taken, row weights and column weights. These two processes can be provided to learner, proper implementation are to be provided and they will be able to get the result. Next, subtraction of polynomials. In case of the subtraction of polynomials, students should be provided with the techniques through row method and also through column method. Two types of methods can be used by a teacher in a classroom situation. Techniques should be provided to them in order to get a better results from the learner. And the learner will get knowledge if direction of a teacher will be effective. And it should realize the life situation of learner effectively. Therefore, this is all about the subtraction of polynomials. Next, you come to multiplication of polynomials. In case of the multiplication of polynomials, students will multiply a monomial by a monomial. Students will be able to multiply a polynomial by a monomial. Students will be able to multiply a polynomial by a polynomial. In this way, techniques will be implemented to them and they have to calculate it. Therefore, it affects some of the laws in case of the field of polynomials, that is you known as the commutative, commutative law. In case of commutative law, students will say x, y equal to yx. In case of associative law, x, y into z equal to x into y, z. In case of distributive law, x into y plus z, that will equal to x, y plus x, z. So that in, in this way, in a particular case, x to the power m into x to the power n, they go to x to the power m plus n. Students will get facility. Students will get knowledge how to apply such type of rules, how to apply such type of methods in classroom session. If the doubts will clear by a teacher, or a teacher will provide proper direction of calculation such a method, then it will be effective for a long and it will be written forever in the mind of the learner. 
Next, you come division of polynomials. In case of the division of polynomials, students will able to divide a monomial by a monomial. They will able to divide a polynomial by a polynomial. They will get a formula the dividend equal to divisor in the quotients plus remainder. And these three types of activities that can be implemented to the learner. For example, divide 12 x to the power 3 by 5x. So that in the numerator, they write 12 x to the 3 and denominator, they write 5x. Then the result gets like that 12 by 5x square. In this way, the law of exponents, law of exponents states that x to the power m by x to the power n equal to x to the power m minus m. Different laws will be implemented there in order to get better result. Except it, students will get result by divisional method. For example, they have to divide 3x square by 9x plus 6 by 3x. By division method, they will divide it through a technique of division method and this idea should be provided by a teacher in a standard form in which the student can able to solve it properly. If this divided on quotient into divisor plus remainder will be implemented them, then proper result will be calculated. Students should know what are the codes behind it. They should understand, they should realize it and they can ask properly in classroom teaching learning process. So that in order to develop, in order to clarify the doubt of learner in classroom teaching, a teacher should know its effectiveness, should know the cause of, of remedies, cause of definites of learner and proper investigation, proper supervision should be done in the class and in that manner knowledge must be provided to them. Next, you come factorization of polynomials. In the field of factorization of polynomials, students should get result to what is factor and what should be a factorization of a polynomial. What is really a factor? And this question when it comes to our mind that students are already well known about arithmetic and the concept of factors, prime factorization of numbers. In algebra, the concept of factor is the same given to a, it is given to a polynomial. Therefore, the process we express it as a product of immediate polynomial, a product of immediate polynomial. And the expression or the process is called the factorization of the polynomial. The process, the immutable, the identification of the process that is known as the factorization of the polynomial. For example, we can take 2x into 3x square. 2x into 3x square, it gives right to 6x cube. Likewise, in different ways, in different techniques, students should be facilitated. Here, 6x cube is the product of 2x and 3x square. We know that 6x cube is the product of 2x and 3x cube, 3x square. 2x and 3x square are called the factors of 6x cube. Where these 2x and 3x square are called the factors of 6x cube. Likewise, same types of questions will be delivered to learner 
in order to get right response from lama that responses didn't it happen the proper teaching of a teacher if he will give proper knowledge he will give proper direction then students result will be fulfilled therefore in this type of polynomial a teacher should would, should well defined it in a different techniques in different methods next you come factoring a quadratic polynomial factoring a quadratic polynomial in this case how students will factorize it and what should be the rule of teacher it should be informed to them in a proper fashion for example a teacher gives idea x plus square of x plus a that gives i to x square of 2x plus a square square of x minus a x square minus 2x plus a square and a quadratic polynomial is one of the term denoted by letter px so that we can take this is the form of polynomial px equal to a x square plus bx plus c this is the quadratic form where a b and c are real numbers always a and b c a b and c will be a real number when student able to discover it able to know it that how it will be calculated we can take another example the square of x plus a equal to x plus a into x plus a and square of x minus a equal to x minus a into x minus a and after using different laws they have to calculate it in this way factorize information will be provided to learner they factorize x square plus 10 x plus 25 here the first and the last term are x square and 25 First term is x square, x square is 25. They are perfect squares. The quadratic polynomials may be written as x square plus 10x plus 25. That is equal to x square plus 2 into x into 5 plus 5 square. That is equal to x plus 5 plus square of x plus 5. In this way, different formulas, different factorized problems will be applied to learn more. you need to get better result of our practices of the practicing of the student second method of splitting the middle term in this case students will able to how to split it for example a polynomial in the form of x square plus p plus q into x plus p q that can be factorized in this way x square p plus p into x p x q into x q x plus p q then we can talk x into x plus p plus q into x plus p so that it gives side to x square into x plus q in this this is known as as the main teaching learning process that it is a splitting of middle term and it, it gives a factorization it gives an idea to the learner how to factorize it should teacher should provide opportunity teacher should give direction how to factorize it in this method next you come to method of splitting the middle term that is in the form of different techniques in the form of different abilities students will factor will factorize 2x square plus 9x plus 4 but in this case how how it will be calculated here we can take p plus q equal to 9 and p q equal to 8 then the value will be calculated effectively and efficiently so this is the second method for 
hectrizen and students will get the better result if proper method will be used if a teacher's direction towards this fetrization will be effective and he should prepare it before deliberation of class in a classroom situation in this way different techniques and different measurements are to be prior to them assignments are also a important part for the development of teaching learning process next is a another form or defining that a polynomial a factorization how much energy they have received how much possibilities that comes to the mind of the learner and proper investigation are to be implemented for it okay next you come unit 12 linear equations and inequations and quadratic equations linear equations inequations and quadratic equations quadratic equations this is the important point for a teacher how he will provide his lesson to learner the word we know that the word equation is within the comprehensive of the student students will be able to differentiate between an expression and an equation equations are of different types depending on the number of variables the degree of variables which says it's in different situation that can be represented by inequalities the student is familiar when the solution of a linear equation is in one variable this provides idea to teach linear equation through different objectives and it will different different it will differentiate between linear equation in one variable and one in two variable etc therefore student will able to describe the difference between consistent and inconsistent systems consistent and inconsistent systems they include problem solving skills there and they can use it in different ways graphically in linear equation therefore we now in com linear equation in one variable linear equation in one variable this gives us to students are able to recognize a linear equation in one variable its solution in one variable also so that students are familiar when these terms of equation expressions or variables or degree may be in the form of a equation therefore a teacher should present it in the number of expressions and equations and he should provide knowledge that equation in which there is only one variable there is only one variable and the degree of the variable is also one variable is one and its degree is also one are called equations of degree of one variable we can take linear equation in one variable x plus 5 equal to 7 here is the equation is one and degree is also one so that we can ask question to learner find out the value of x and students will be able to tell them it is true only for x equal to 2 if the value of x equal to 7 minus 5 then equal to 2 then the then the equation is true so that this type of equation is linear equation in this equation it is true is called the solution of equation also as for example we can provide a question to learner when students are unable to give answer at time at the time students should not be harassed what are the cause behind it 
proper investigation must be made by a perfect teacher. A teacher should identify it. So what are the cause behind it? And in this way, proper knowledge, proper data, and proper investigation are to provide them. Observation of class are must necessary. Students, evaluation, whether they are interested towards it or not, it should be also verified. And after it, methods should be solved. Method of problems should be solved. Next, linear equation in two variables. In this equation, the degree one involves two variables. And the degree involves with two variables. It, it will be discussed. And it is also discussed in the earlier stage, earlier periods. In this way, students will be able to find out the solution of a linear equation in two variables. Linear equation in two variables in a straight line answer. Therefore, the teacher should give idea that what is a linear equation of two variables. For example, we could take one equation the 10 plus y equal to 5. Here y equal to 5. H will 10. Y equal to minus 5. The solution of the equation. How many solutions of the given equation they can find? In this way, students can give different types of solutions. For example, x plus y equal to 5. That it can be represented in the graph. By means of a table, x, y, if x equal to 0, y equal to 5. If x equal to 1, y equal to 4. If x equal to 2, y equal to 2. So that all points lie at in a straight line. It gives direct direction that the graph represents a straight line. In this way, every solution of this equation lie on this line. And every point of this line is a solution of the given equation. It solves in a given direction also. Therefore, different types of problems should be provided to the teacher, should provide the teacher towards learner. In will, the student should be able to well known about x axis, y axis of the graph, and how it will form, what the role of origin, what is origin, and how it will be calculated, these type of knowledge are to be provided. Next, graph of linear equation involving absolute values. Here, a teacher will draw a graph of a linear equation involving absolute value. That absolute value means, as for example, draw a graph of modulus y equal to 4. So that the 4 gives y equal to 4, y equal to minus 4. When y greater than 0, that will be equal to y equal to 4. When y less than 0, that will be equal to y equal to minus 4. In this way, it gives rise to a graph. And this graph will be also a straight line. So that students should be intimated. Students should be directed how to draw. How they will discuss it in a proper way to draw a graph. Next come system of linear equation in two variables. Here teacher will find out a solution. Teacher will provide a solution on linear equation in two variables graphically and the condition for draw of linear equation in two variables. These type of knowledge are to be provided effectively. For example, we can take one example 2x minus y equal to 1 and x plus y equal to minus y. Minus 8. But 2x minus y equal to 1. Here we have to calculate the value of x and y. If x equal to 1, y equal to 1, x equal to 2, y equal to 3, x equal to 3, y equal to 5. In another case, 
For another situation, x plus 2y equal to 8. Here we have to calculate the value of x and y. Coordinate is coordinate minus 2, x equal to minus 2, y equal to 5, x equal to 4. So that there is, it will be calculated in this way. And in graphically, in the graph, it will be drawn. It gives right to a particular idea to the learner that how it will be calculated through through two techniques. These techniques may be implemented in the class through graphic representation of data. Students will get and they will be able to solve graphically. Another example, x minus 2y equal to 1, 3x minus 6y equal to 3. In graphically, they have to draw it by calculating the weight of x and y in two terms, in two ways. And it gives right to the student that this graph is perfect. And when it gives a straight line way, then it will be effective. The next come methods of solving system of linear equation. Methods of solving the system of linear equation. Here, different methods that can be used by a teacher for solution of a linear equation. Teaching, in case of the teaching, the teacher can use a method of elimination. What is the method of elimination? This method consists essentially of eliminating the one of the variables from both the equation. One of the variable will be eliminated from both of the equation. And thus getting an equation in a single variable. That can be solved to get a value of a variable. Second point, method of comparison. From each two equation, equations, the value of any one variable in terms of the other can be equate them. For example, we can tap 3x plus 2y equal to 8, 2x plus 3y equal to 7. In the first case, 3x plus 2y equal to 8. Then value equal to value of x equal to 8 minus 2y by 3. In the second case, 2x plus 3y equals 7, h equal to 7 minus 3 by 2. So that by equating both of them, 8 minus 2y by 3 equal to 7 minus 3 by 2. And it gives right to y equal to 1. And we will now put this value of y in equation 1. And we will get x equal to 2. So that the solution is that x will be 2 and y will be 1. If this is the similar questions, can you put to learner, can you provide it to learner as an assignment or as a problem, it gives right to a proper result. Next, method of substitution. In case of method of substitution, the value of any one variable from and one of the equation in terms of the other and then substitute it in second equation and then eliminate it in that variable. Example, for example, 3x plus 2y equal to 8, 2x plus 3y equal to 7. In the first equation, 3x plus 2y equal to y, that gives right to x equal to 8 minus 2y by 3, x equal to 8 minus 2y by 3. Now, substituting this equation to, we get 2 into x, the value of x equal to 8 minus 2y by 3, plus 3y equal to 7. And use different techniques here, and we, have, we will calculate the value of y. So that the value of x and y will be calculated in this fashion or in this ways. Next, method of addition or subtraction. We know that the coefficient of x or y in two equations are equal to multiplying the equations by suitable constants. For example, 
थ्री एक्स प्लस टू वाई टू एट टू एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई टू सेवन इन दिस केस टू मेक ऑप्शन ऑफ एक्स इक्वल इन बोथ ऑफ द इक्वेशन मल्टीप्लाई एक्स इक्वेशन वन बाई टू एंड इक्वेशन टू बाई थ्री विल मल्टीप्लाई वन बाई टू एंड टू बाई थ्री देन वी गेट रिजल्ट सिक्स एक्स प्लस फोर वाई इक्वल सिक्सटीन सिक्स वाई प्लस नाइन वाई इक्वल ट्वेंटी वन एंड बाई सब्सट्रैक्टिंग दिस द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई इक्वल टू वन नेक्स्ट यू पुट द फर्स्ट इक्वेशन एंड एक्स वी इक्वल टू फॉर दैट एक्स इक्वल टू एंड वाई इक्वल टू वन नेक्स्ट पॉइंट मेथड ऑफ क्रॉस मल्टीप्लिकेशन इन क्रॉस मल्टीप्लिकेशन दैट इज वन इक्वेशन ए वन एक्स प्लस बी वन वाई प्लस सी वन इक्वल टू जीरो ए टू एक्स प्लस बी टू वाई प्लस सी टू दैट विल इक्वल टू आंसर जीरो इन दिस वे देर इज वन फॉर्मूला फॉर कैलकुलेशन ऑफ एक्स दैट विल इक्वल टू बी वन सी टू माइनस बी टू सी वन बाय ए वन बी टू माइनस ए टू बी वन एंड लाइकवाइज वैल्यू ऑफ वाई इक्वल टू सी वन ए टू माइनस सी टी ए वन बाय ए वन बी टू माइनस ए टू बी वन दिस वैल्यू दिस मेथड कैन बी इंप्लाइड दैट कैन बी अप्लाइड इन टू गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई व्हिच इज नोन एज द क्रॉस मल्टीप्लिकेशन फॉर्मूला in this way students should be directed that they can solve different problems given by a teacher through cross multiplication method equations will be taught by a teacher proper practice and drills are to be provided to them in order to get better result and students will be so interested if they can able to solve it so so that this type of knowledge are to be provided next solution of word problems word problems in mathematical model represents that students should be facilitated for solving word problems the main emphasis should be provided on translating the problem into a mathematical model he should first translate it into a mathematical model once we obtain two linear equations in two variables that can be solved by only one of the method studied earlier in the previous best questions previous best study we have discussed it so the fraction a solution can be calculated in two variables like x and y it will be easy if this method will be implied in classroom situation and students can able to provide proper answer if they can understand it properly for that the students have got knowledge in a proper way or not it should be evaluated and it should be it should be assessed by a teacher in class next is inequations inequations it is not always the case that we face different problems in solution of a problem so that we have no deal with inequations there are some situation are there they are unable to solve in equations consider the problem take one example that queen a boy went to purchase sugar he found that it was available in 250 gram and 500 gram packets He could not carry more than two kg of sugar. How many packets of sugar he could buy? Suppose he buys x packs of two fifty grams and y packs of five hundred grams. Since total weight should not exceed two thousand gram, two fifty x plus five hundred y that gives us two thousand. Or it may be written as x plus two y 
equal to 8 x plus 2y equal to 8 so that in this way a general formula can be calculated through this method next graphic representation of inequation the graphic representation of inequation represents an equation graphically that means graphically it can be represented and for example 2x plus y equal to 4 and in this way the value of x and y will be calculated the value of x equal to 0 y equal to 4 the value of x equal to 1 y will be 2 in this it will be represented in a graph graphically it will be represented to learner in classroom situation and proper methods proper techniques will be implemented to them in order to get a better result from the learner in this way we know that students in some cases faces problems when they get not properly used they have no idea to use it properly so that the teacher should be provided with different techniques to them and he should observe properly in the classroom situation next you come quadratic equations in one variable in this way the quadratic equations in the form of a x square plus b x plus c equal to zero where a is not equal to zero is a quadratic equation in one variable x there is only the variable is x students must be able to recognize the graphic quadratic equation in a given equation 3 x square plus 7 x plus 2 equal to zero this is also another quadratic equation and in this equation they are able to categorize it they will able to know it whether it is the quadratic equation or not then what how this solution of a quadratic equation will be formed or not this can be formed in two ways factor method second is completing the square method in case of vector method if this expression of quadratic equation in the form of px equal to 0 where px is a quadratic polynomial and when we factor the px and we get px equal to q1x into qx for q1x and qx are linear polynomials in the US, in this way we can able to solve the problem can take one example x square plus c6 plus 5 equal to 0 so that in this way it gives rise to x plus 1 into x plus 5 equal to 0 that means x equal to minus 1 or x equal to 5 in this way the quadratic equation x equal to minus 1 x equal to minus 2 are called also the rules of the equation it is called as a Rules of the equation. Next, methods of completing the squares. In the method of completing the squares, we can take to solve through a x square plus b x plus c equal to zero, or a is not equal to zero. Multiplying both sides for a, in both sides, for a square square plus for a b x plus for a c equal to zero. Next, for a square plus for a b x equal to minus for a c by adding. In both sides, b square, then we get for x square, x square, from 4 bx, for bx square, equal to b square minus 4 ac. And when we will eliminate it, then we will find out that the value of x equal to minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4 ac by 2a. This is a general equation of a quadratic equation. And this method can be applied to learner for getting a better result. And students, so well known about it next another example can be taken that two formulas are there relation between roots and coefficients what are the sum of roots 
some rules will be equal to minus b by a and some of coefficients product of roots sum of roots equal to minus b by a product of roots equal to c by a this is the general formula for calculation of this correct equation in this way students should be familiarized with themselves in a proper direction are to be also provided you have to get a better job then equations reducible to quadratic form the teacher should use this method to a quadratic form in different situations for example 2x to the power minus 5x square plus 3 equal to 0. Here we are unable to find out the solution. This is not a quadratic equation because its degree is 4. Now we can take x square equal to z that will equal to 2z square minus 5z plus 3 equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. Now it can be solved as a normal quadratic equation. And we can factorize in LHS. We get 2z minus 3 into z minus 1 equal to 0. So z equal to 3 by 2 or z equal to, it gives i to z equal to 3 by 2 and z equal to 1. Now we can put it in the form of x, x square equal to 3 by 2. Or x equal to 1, x equal to plus minus 2. In this way, x equal to 3 by 2, x equal to plus minus root over 3 by 2. In this case, the problem will be solved by taking different examples to learner and students. Actual performance can be solved, can be measured if they have received proper knowledge from the teacher. And in the quadratic question, it's very important for that learner. Hello, are you listening me think or not? Yes, 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 you are very much audible. Yes, sir. There is a problem on it for the reason I am asking. Yeah, actually, your, your voice was breaking in between. Okay, so sir, now, the problem? Now, now, now it is all right, so you, you can go ahead, no problem. If there is anything left, you can go ahead. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Another thing. There is a problem of net so that I can be able to reach the point. Another, the, this measurement of equation, quadratic equation can be expressed in the form of a quadratic equation, quadratic equation equal to minus b plus minus b square minus four c by 2a. Next, we come solution of a quadratic equation. Can be solved through factor method. In this factor method, if x plus 1 into x plus 5 equal to 0, then we can get result x equal to minus 1 and x equal to minus 5 also. In this a, a b belongs to 0, then a belongs to 0 and b also belongs to 0. 
in case of method of capacity of the square we can use the formula x equal to minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4 ac by 2a next relation between roots and coefficients the sum of roots has expressed in the form of b minus a and product can be formed in the form of a c by a this is all about unit 12 next you come unit 13 in unit 13 we have to study sets relations functions and graphs so that the primary idea of sets relations functions and graphs will be provided to learner in classroom situation in every case how they will able to provide it it should be implemented so the first what is set what is set we know that the meaning of basic term of set theory is a general concept for the learner from their primary stage to onwards in this case the introduction of sets so said that what is set set is the collection of objects defined by same laws or properties we can take one example set a the set with geometry box geometry box is a set another we can take another example the set of natural numbers same properties it involves in the and the things in a geometry box square compass plot whatever these are called called the elements so that in set theory in a set theory we should know what is equal and equivalent set in this case a set is represented by that uh, what is equal and what is equivalent set equal or equivalent set can be present an element in group one group abc another group cab another group bac so that this set can be counted or can be well known as a equal or equivalent set next finite and infinite set a set having finite number of elements are called a finite set for example the counting numbers less than 10 so that it will be equal to n equal to natural numbers that will be equal to n equal to 1 to 10 and infinite numbers means a set having infinite number of elements that is known as infinite set for example the world of the people the set of natural numbers this is of the infinite set and it can be operated in the form of different types of subsets in universal sets also in a subset every elements will be included in a set then it is called a subset for example a equal to the elements small abc b equal to a b c d small a b c d then a there is a subset of b because every element of a are present in b and universal set can be denoted by letter e the total set in a universal set there is union of sets intersection of sets, finite sets, infinite sets, etc. All things are included in, within it. Next, operation of sets. This operation of sets can be expressed in different union, intersection, Cartesian products, modulus of A, A union B equal to B union A, 
can be implemented in the form of a relation and this relation is one that may be one to one relation for example a equal to 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 in this case the relation may be expressed as 2 2 2 4 2 6 2 8 2 10 3 3 and 3 6 so then in this way, the relation is expressed in the form of a set, and sets are always related to different techniques, one-to-one -one relation, and both are both is related one-to-one. -one. But in case of function, we should know what is actually function. A function from set A to set B is a relation from the set A to the set B. Such that every element of A is related to 1 and only one element of B. Every element of 1 is related to 1 and only one of B. Let A equal to small a, b, c. B equal to 1, to 3, 4. A equal to 1, a, b, c, b equal to 1, to 3, 4. Then you can Consider the relation function f1 equal to a2, b1, c4, a3. In function 2, a1, b3, c4. In function 3, a3, b4. So that this idea, this techniques that can be implemented by a teacher by taking different relations and functions for clarification of doubt of the learner in classroom situation. Another way, it can be expressed in the form of graphs also. That means graphical representation of different functions. This function can be expressed in the form of a graph. Students should be familiarized, familiarized with algebra and geometry by taking different points, different ideas in a plane that, called, that is called Cartesian coordinates. And that, that Cartesian coordinates implies that students will familiarize with geometrical expressions of a linear equation. That may be in two variables, x and y. Two variables are most necessary for representation of such graphs and this graph is a linear expression of x and y. In this way, it can be represented as y equal to x square. And through construction of table, this graph can be made. And students should be familiar with such type of graphs that can be made properly in a classroom situation and they should familiarize with itself with graphs in the later period. Therefore, this graph represents that in x-axis and in y-axis will be in the following table by taking that y equal to x square. This is one of the example. Then if you look at x, when x equal to minus 4, y equal to 16, x equal to minus 3, y equal to 9, and gives a straight line graph and a parabola in the form of parabola. And this in parabola way, students will be identify the graph of a function. And a function is a way, this is a technique, and this is a method that can be learned by a teacher how to draw so that the graph papers should be utilized the graph paper 
should be implemented in the classroom in order to develop the mentality of learner and students should be facilitated and teachers should give, give his direction how to provide knowledge, how to give knowledge, how to acquire knowledge to the learner. This is all about the about the unit 13. Okay, this is but I cover all of the units. Okay, now it is uh, time for interaction. So only few students have, you know, only few students have seen there online. Twenty-six students are there. So okay, anybody who is willing to put any question. You may write your question in the chat box also. If you do not want to uh, directly put questions, you can also write your question in the chat box. Please ask questions. Gagan Kishan, you are presenting. Don't present anything. You are capturing the screen by presenting. You just simply join, you click join now, don't present anything. Bhagavan Kishan, or else you will be removed. Gauri Shankar Tripathi, do you have any question? Gauri Shankar? Little Shamal? Little Shamal? Yes, sir. If you have any question, you can ask. If you want to ask any question, or if you want to say anything about, uh, you know, your your course or your uh, topic or about Igno, you can also say. It is not necessarily subject specific question. You ask any question pertaining to your program also. I am here to respond. Okay, uh, students, uh, tomorrow we are organizing uh, a webinar. We are organizing a webinar at 11.15, uh, 11.20 it will start. If anybody who, uh, is interested, you can also join the webinar. Dr. Mahanthi, can we postpone the class tomorrow? We can reschedule the class uh, some other day. Because tomorrow there is a webinar uh, on uh, International Day of Yoga. 
okay sir tomorrow tomorrow throughout the world international day of yoga is being celebrated so all all yes, the sir. students are requested to join this webinar i am just giving you the link just just wait for a minute i will i'll just type out the link in the chat box you can note down the link okay please wait for a minute okay sir please wait just i am giving the link So this is the link. This is the link I've given. Meet dot google dot com slash db dbq n v v d j a y. So this is the link to join the webinar tomorrow at uh, eleven fifteen. Director R S D Regional Services Division will address plus uh, resource person from uh, Bharatiya Yoga Sansthan. I will be presenting on various topics on yoga. which will be highly beneficial for all the learners as well as counselors and uh, you know all those who are involved in the teaching learning process okay please uh, please note down the link the link uh, i have already given in the chat box i have given the link please please uh, note down this link meet.google.com/dbq n v v d j a y this is the link and it is on google meet okay in the same link okay you can you can get into the uh, the webinar and participate so tomorrow's class will be yes, conducted some other day the last block the block 4 will be conducted some other day because of this international day of yoga and we will we will send sms we will send sms to all of you when the class will be rescheduled dr mahanti will will uh, yes. you know yes. postpone this class to some other day okay okay sir you will inform me to inform me through my mobile number okay okay we will inform you uh, we may conduct it maybe in the evening hour also there is no problem okay yes sir if we can conduct yes, uh, you know the same uh, class today we will inform you but today or day after tomorrow will inform you because tomorrow is the uh, webinar time or webinar day so we will all, all will be busy okay sir so maybe a, a day or tomorrow we will be informing you and we will also inform the students uh, you know about the conduct of class for block okay okay sir. okay okay sir so students okay, sir. you all are you all Thank are you, requested to join tomorrow in this link I have given the link in the chat box. Please note down the link and join at 11:15 for the celebration of International Day of Yoga. Yes. Sir. Have you all received? Bharti Sahu, Rasmi Rekha Vehra, Shilpa Naik, Prasad Sekhar, Santosh Kumar Rajput, Patyapaga Sahu, Sagarika Parida. हिमांशु शेखर प्रहराज सुचिस्मिता देवरी निरुपमा दास एंड देर आर मेनी अदर्स ऑल्सो ओके प्लीज टेन टेक नोट प्लीज टेक नोट ऑफ द लिंक व्हिच इज गिवन इन द चैट बॉक्स एंड लॉग इन टुमारो ओके सो थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू डॉक्टर महादेव सो वी शैल बी मीटिंग ऑन द रीशेड्यूल डेट फॉर द लास्ट ब्लॉक ओके So thank you very much. Thank you very much, students. Okay, sir. We are meeting tomorrow for international for celebration of International Day of Yoga. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.